Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey with a pen mail video. This is from Colt Pens. It's the Messy Sluna Conkling Cross Colt Pens. Special edition, Harvest Moon. So here we go. This is, I'm going to go through the box. This is the Fountain Pen. So, Mrs. Luna is Latin. I'm probably mispronouncing this. So some some bright spark, some educated scholar will correct me in the description down below, in the comments down below, no doubt. And quite honestly, I don't care. Harvest Moon, we'll go with that. Uh, it's Latin for the har Harvest Moon, the moon nearest to the autumnal equinox. So it's the September moon, basically. Uh, it can appear as every shade of gold from white to rose and is what inspired this collaboration between cult pens and legendary pen makers Conklin. Made of metal in warm in a warm rose gold, it is adorned with a sturdy chrome-plated clip and a screw-on cap that can be securely posted to the end of the pen. It will scratch the barrel. Uh, the Girograph has been a classic Conklin design since 1923 and is supplied with a converter for use with bottled ink and two international standard ink cartridges in black and blue. So this is Conklin's special edition, exclusive to Colt Pen's Girograph Massis Luna fountain pen. And I think the box is actually really quite lovely. Now... I didn't pull the trigger on this fountain pen when it came out because I wasn't certain whether I'd actually like it. And the main reason being, this is the interior box, standard blue faux leather, faux leather blue Conklin padded box. I wasn't really too keen on the actual colour in the photographs. And I'm still not 100% convinced it's exactly what I wanted, but... Bear with me. Let me know what your thoughts are, because the photograph of this fountain pen, or photographs of this Conklin Messis Luna Girograph fountain pen on the Cult Pens website is... I'll say it looks a bit dark. So, in the box. Let's, ta let's take this out. I don't often do unboxing videos, because I find them generally a little bit uninspiring when I watch other people's and that's just fired out somewhere. Ugh. Right, so what have we got? Guarantees and all this gonf instructions, how to use the converter and cartridges. And in here, yes, there are indeed, and this is quite a nice touch, rather than having them rolling around under the, under the pen tray, we do actually get the cartridges inserted in these little inserts securely to either side of the um, end of the box. So let's pop that back in there, pop this back in there, and let's have a look at the fountain pen. So, Conklin Girograph Messis Luna, exclusive to Colt Pens. I can't stand the... See this, sorry, I've bashed the tripod there. I can't stand this. Conklin Cross with Cult Pens. Conklin Times Cult Pens. It's become a thing over the last two or three years, I'd say the last two years, where you get this collaboration where it's Conklin, why don't they just do Cult Pens exclusive or whatever manuf whatever retailer it is with the manufacturer exclusive rather than this. Anyway, it annoys me. It's a little thing. So it is a standard Conklin Girograph. What can I say? Well, is it rose gold? It's coming out a bit brass coloured in this light on the camera, but I, I, it's going to be hard to, even if I try and shield some of this natural light that's coming in. No, that's made it look sort of silvery, if anything. <laughs> Terrible. Close up. Definitely a rose gold coloured clip. Um, and it, it, I'll, I'll be honest, it is a bit of a bronzy colour, but it is pink. And engraved on here, we, we've got, there we go, 
Duraflex. I didn't go with the Duraflex nib. I don't have any faith in those. Uh, Duraflex limited edition, 187 of 250. So this is a, not just a special edition, this is a limited edition exclusive to Colt Pens. And they had a winter sale on with something like 20% off Conklin, and I used one of my lovely viewers' um, affiliate links down below, which I put, put in the description to get a further 10% off. So I got this for like bargain money. It should be like 100 quid, and it, I got it for something like 67 pounds, which I thought was worth it. So the top is flat, Conklin engraved up there, established whenever that was, 18-something. So it's a Durograph. It's metal. It's quite heavy. We've got metal everything. We've got a... Where is it? There we go. Cap band, which isn't in focus there. Mrs. Luna. Conklin, and I think that says Mrs. Luna. Your eyes may be better than mine. No idea. You might be able to zoom in. But anyway, barrel tapers slightly. We've got another rose gold end down, uh, band near the finial. Unscrew the cap. One. Almost one and a half turns. And we have a matching section, which is, yes, polished metal. It's quite short. It does flare a little bit, hourglass shaped. But that is not going to be to everybody's taste. We do have a matching coloured nib, which is really, really nice. This is this is a very matching fencing pen. Good size, good weight, and I'm quite happy with it. Yes, it will post, not very deeply, horribly, horribly back weighted, and that will probably scratch, even though we've got these plastic threads inside on metal threads here so not good plastic on metal never a good thing unscrew this and it comes with a converter i've always found conklin's converters to be pretty reliable at getting a decent fill so there we go conklin gerograph messis luna cult pens exclusive special no limited edition indeed so there we have it just screw that back on there and then you can look at the colours and see if that is a pen which might be for you or not. Let me know your comments down below, please. Um, is this something for you? It's, it's not rose gold. I've, I've got to warn you, if you're after a rose gold coloured fencing pen, it's not rose gold. It is much, much darker than that. It's a bronzy sort of colour with rose gold embellishments so let me know what you think thanks very much for watching and i shall see you next time bye